Excellent. All right. So, Stargate reboot of reboot. Uh, the bad CGI show from the mid-90s. Which I think, actually, didn't they try and do a reboot of that, Josh, on Netflix, and it was terrible? Did they? I don't know. I could swear they did one that lasted, like, half a season, and even Netflix was like, this is a bad idea. <laughs> that was uh, Stargate Universe. Well, no, 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 but reboot of reboot. We're talking, like, the 90, 90s show. Like, okay, we're talking two different 90s shows, because Stargate's also one we're rebooting. Um, yeah. Stargate, Stargate had, like, four fucking shows. <laughs> oh, yeah, they did. Reboot the Guardian Code in 2015. See? That's what I'm saying. They tried and to reboot. Came out on Netflix in 2018. And I heard it was terrible, and everyone hated it, and they didn't bother with it again. I didn't even hear about that. Well, you don't watch nearly as much Netflix as I do, because you actually have a life. Barely. Or SG-1. Uh, Peter Williams, who plays Apophis, um, which is one of the, the main villains in the show, um, I believe he was also, I think his breakout role was, um, what was it? It was, uh, the, the, uh, ugh. uh, no, maybe I'm wrong. I'm looking at his IMDB right now. Um, hey Josh, how's your teaching going? Uh, not too bad. Okay. I can it so far. How's, how's your quarantining going? Barf, I hate it. It seems completely ridiculous because I still go to school every Monday through Friday. Yeah, that but, is ridiculous. But it officially ends Monday night. Oh, that's nice. Oh, good. Don't get sick yeah. again so that we can actually have band practice next weekend. I haven't been getting I, sick. Keep your kids away. Put them in plastic bubbles. Okay, so yeah. Haley Atwell, we want to do that one next? Yes. Okay, let me go pull up IMD, or not IMDb, uh, Wikipedia. Haley Atwell. Do you use Wiki over IMDb? Yeah, Why? I don't like I don't like IMDb's interface. Oh, okay. It used to be nice. It did, and now it blows. It Amazon ends. bought it and ruined it. Like they ruin everything. Work. They probably honestly should have switched her out with um, the guy who played the librarian, whose name I can't remember off the top of my head right now. I'm bad with names. <laughs> Hold on. I'm looking it up, and then we'll cut this part out. Hey, are you talking Cumberbatch? No, the librarian at the thing. Wong. Wong. Yeah, Wong. Uh, his, I'm looking up his name. Benedict Wong. Thank you. Okay, so do we want to now reboot? Um, reboot? Or I I don't know anything about reboot. Perfect. So that's that's perfect. We'll watch some of the Guardian code before we do that, just to see how terrible it is. Okay, we can hold off on that one. That <gasps> uh, excuse me. Um, what else do we want to do then? On your list, it says our dream Marvel casting call. I'm not sure Josh is ready for that one yet. Okay. That might be uh, next time Josh is not on a podcast because that that's like I don't even know when I'll be able to finish all that. We don't have to finish it. We're just talking main characters. Oh, okay. So, so like, instead of Robert Downey Jr., Val Kilmer as Iron Man. Oh, Ooh. so it can be anybody who, alive or dead at this point? Val Kilmer's still alive. You want to, instead of, like, now, like, do a, like, if the Marvel Universe movies came out in the 1980s or the 1990s, Ooh. who would we cast? Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah, you want to do that? Sure. Yeah, we can have it like we can have like a segment called Time Warp or something. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so Time Warp, we'll do that. Uh, I'll have to find a noise for that. Anyway, uh, in three, two, one. Oh, are we doing that now? Oh, are we not? <laughs> not yeah. Oh, we can no, do it now. I, we can. Okay. I like it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay. In three, two, one. So, so like, uh. Like, I know all you want from your Star Wars games is, like, just Jedi with, like, lightsabers. You, you, you want, like, a TMNT brawler where it's just Jedi just wandering around kicking ass and, like, beating the shit out of people. Yes. Yeah. But with, oh, with meditating. With, okay, okay, so what's the meditating mechanic? I want to know this. Uh, I, I don't know. Power, power-ups? So, so are they, <laughs> is it, like, literally, like, you sit down in the middle of the field as, like, the foot soldiers are going past? You're like, no, no, no. I'm meditating. No. no, you got you have to have to do it between levels, you know. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, you gotta 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 have your zen and your violence. <laughs> you need balance. Violent zen. That sounds like like a uh, mid nineties grunge album. Yeah, us. I think we found the name of our uh, first studio album. <laughs> Violent zen. <laughs> there you go.
The only non-child show that I've watched is What We Do in the Shadows. <laughs> oh. Shit. I know. I know. I mean, it's great. I love that, but... I'm uh, currently torturing myself by playing every uh, Zelda game in story order, like chronological story order. That's... Wow. Wow. Yeah. How... Just finished the second one, finished uh, Minish Cap, so going on to the next one. And what's the reasoning for playing them in story order? I don't know, I just wanted to. So what are you going to do when you hit the split timeline? <clears throat> uh, I'm going to go with uh, the adult <laughs> One first, and then the child one, I think. And then the neither one where Ganon wins? Yeah. Yeah, because there's three of them, and then you have to finish with Breath of the Wild, because it doesn't sit on the timeline at all. Yeah, I played, I've I've been playing uh, Breath of the Wild in, like, in between Finally? games a little bit. Yeah, I've been playing it for a little while, it's really fun. It's a great game. Oh my god. It is. Yeah. Um, it was just like, I know I have to save Zelda, but I gotta make some food real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna climb this mountain for no reason. I'm gonna go find every shrine and activate every tower. So they can wait. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we are here at the news desk. This talk. This, 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 this. We are here at the news desk. This, oh, fuck it, I giggled there. Well, and honestly, I just want them to do a uh, uh, a continental series that focuses on the uh. Hold on. My brain died. Give me a second. I'll I'll edit this out. Uh Who's the guy who plays the the uh concierge? Oh, Lance um, Reddick. I thought that was the wrong my, name. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah. This thing I was discussing on the article for uh Lower Decks, which is the fact that Lower Decks is the only really good Star Trek series we're getting right now in comparison to like Discovery's fine. And Picard is okay. Like, no, Picard sucks. But it's the only good one we have right now. And it's also the one that's most like the Orville. And I want to know, what was the inspiration for that? Was it Rick and Morty, or was it the Orville that decided to make this show come into being? That is, yeah. We can just discuss that. Yeah. My money is on Rick and Morty more so, but I mean, we'll the, see. one of the producers is from Rick and Morty. But it's like, yeah, no. it's, it has too much of that really solid storytelling that the Orville did for that for me to sit there going, they didn't at least watch both seasons of it and go, we could do this with Star Trek. What would you like to start with? Uh, we can do whichever. I think Bracken Myers is going to be the easiest, so we can do that one first. Okay. We yeah, will... I guess I should look stuff up. Yeah, I think we're all going to be pulling up Bracken Myers' IMDB page. Well, two weeks ago when we did the podcast recording last time, or that time, the audio was bad on my end. Only on my end. It had you guys great, and when it was recording my audio through your setup, I sounded, you know, shitty like usual, but the expected kind is shitty. So, it was clear that the microphones were set up right, but, w like, the one that's going directly to me from the Yeti mic just did bad audio for some reason, and, and I have no fucking clue why. I'm completely at a loss. So, two of the four podcasts, or not two of the four, two of the podcasts of the four or five that are in the can are, um absolutely wretched but the the rest were fine so i don't fucking know that's weird fucking yitty mics and this janky setup we do and everything i would not mind next year for the for season five going back to an in-person setup because the audio is better yeah <laughs> yeah even if it's just you and me sitting around a dining room table eating pizza and talking about random topics i'd prefer that <laughs> Me too. Like, it's weird doing it online. It is. Honest. Like, I agree. I, agree. I feel like the, the conversation's not as natural. It's not. Uh, it sounds weirder. And, I mean, some of the interactions that we did in person, like, just spurned weird ideas that we then carried into the podcast. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, like, I feel like whenever we're online, like, we're always talking over each other yeah. just because of how, like, latency and ping works. Yep. Yeah, and there's so, unnatural pauses as well that I have to edit out as you guys are hearing my voice still talking to you before you guys start talking, and I'm just waiting. Yeah. Yeah, it's all weird. Anyway, um, Total Recall. Uh, we are going to talk about Funny Star Trek and the Orville to revisit that topic. 
Um, and then I wasn't sure if you wanted to, depending upon how much time we have, just get in a quick nerd news as well, since we're basically at the end of the month. Well, we need nerd news to talk about. Uh, Alec Baldwin shot someone. Yeah, that's... I don't know where I stand on that one, because I don't like Alec Baldwin, and I don't like guns, but the prop person was really dumb. Yeah, the prop person was dumb on that one. We, uh... I think if we do that and then go look at, like, Kotaku and AV Club, we can come up with enough to fill a 20-minute nerd news. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are we doing for Total Recall? Is it relaunch or rebooting or just talking about it? Uh, we were doing a watch party originally, so we were just going to talk about it. I don't... But I, I honestly, I don't know how you fucking reboot that thing, because it's a... It's smart. Yeah. If you reboot it too much, it's no longer Total Recall. But if you do the same thing, then you've just made Total Recall. Like, <laughs> Yeah. And, cause I watched the 1991. That's the one we were doing, right? We are going to do both, but it doesn't really matter because the new one... We'll, we'll, we'll come. Let's, let's get into it in the podcast. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Then in three, two, one. I don't think he did, but... I don't know. Well, here. Let's, let's act like we actually know what we're talking about. Why? Well, that's not good. Right. Let's see what. I could swear he did the first. Three. Oh, he did do the first one. He did the first one and evolution. Okay, now we absolutely have to keep uh, hanging out for another couple minutes because um, the endings of the previous ones have still been getting cut off. So we're gonna go until t- uh, two twenty nine and hope that that gives us enough lead time. Okay. Yeah. I can tell you a quick story about that's total recall related. Okay. When Audrey was born and she was a baby, I used to hold her up to my chest and go up to Josette and go, Quaid, because, <laughs> like, she had a super strong neck, so she'd, like, hold her neck out and, like, wave her arms like Quado, <laughs> and Josette hated it. Oh my god, that's so good. That's so good. Like, she'd be like, stop, it is so creepy. You're listening to Not So Live from Astro AG. I'm Mike Finkelstein. With me, as always, is... Sorry, Tommy Midlion. <laughs> With Josh me, as Schaefer. always is. Josh Schaefer. Can you say that again? Because your voice kind of cut out a little there. Yep. Josh Schaefer. Let's get this out of the way right now. Let's all make a pun about throw a coin to your something. I know we want to. You or can throw a, throw a coin to me. Right. I'll take it. <laughs> throw a coin to your Aldi um, carriage. Uh, I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, you need a coin for whatever. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, we sure. did a cover of their song. Uh... Sorry, my brain just died for a second there. Um... <laughs> oh, I'll be honest. The only um, R. Kelly song I can remember was the uh, the big cover he did that blew up huge. Um, Fly Like an Eagle or whatever it was. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, that yeah. was Seal. No, no, no. Seal was Kiss from a Rose. No, but no, Seal covered... Uh, Did he? Okay, well, I'm editing this like part out then, because I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> I swear there was an R. Kelly song. Maybe I'm thinking... I must be thinking of a different track. Um, God, there was, like they, 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 That one came out with the Seal one at the same time, I want to say. It was just him in a cornfield just running around and singing with, like, arms out and whatever. That's the only R. Kelly song I know, and clearly, I don't know it very well. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know which song you're referring to, but, but yeah, I could. I, I, but I do know the "Fly Like an Eagle" cover was okay, definitely. Well, then steel. it's a different R. Kelly song, and I'm bad yes. because apparently I just equated two black men together, and I feel different. that's. <laughs> They're not even from the same country. No. no. Well, and besides, which think. Seal has talent. Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. No, R-, R. Kelly has talent too, but he's. You know, okay, I'm, I'm, will, I'm willing to write. I'm willing to write. I'm willing to write him off entirely. <laughs> I, I I have no apprehension about it at all.